One of the things when I was considering Upper Arlington, you go online, you see these facilities, and they're just amazing. Uh, but to then to look and learn about the process that the district went through uh, to truly engage and come up with a solution that's collaborative and reflective of the desires of the community has been maybe what's most amazing. When we moved here 10 years ago, that process was just getting started. It was an exciting time to, to, for the family to start to engage in the schools. As we started the whole master planning process, that took about two and a half to three years to really figure out where did the community want us to go with this. If we did nothing to our buildings, we we're going to see some significant financial costs that would eventually impact the classrooms. On each of the schools had very different um, con issues and concerns um, that needed to be addressed as soon as they could be. And I think that really opened a lot of people's eyes. I thought the first phase of facility planning was um, a great process of really including all of the community members. We were able to, uh, I think, see the data unfold, see the plans unfold, get a look at all the various options that were presented and really it was a very transparent way of uh, understanding all of the questions that, that the teams were trying to answer. To really walk the buildings now and see what's what's transpired, it's, it's pretty amazing and incredible. This community came together and did all of its due diligence to evaluate what the future of the school should look like. And at that time, due to the investment in the 90s in the buildings, it was, uh, it was the district was able to wait on Burbank and Hastings uh, and Jones Middle School. It's hard for some to believe, but it's been 10 years, and we're up against the, uh, the time period where we have to start investing in these facilities to either maintain them as they are or really think about what the future could look like, and that's what this process is all about. The phase two is important for us because now we're gonna start seeing a lot more additional expenses coming through when it comes to Jones and Hastings and Burbank because of the maintenance required, because of what's below the floor, above the ceilings and the walls, those types of systems we're gonna to have to replace. There is not a no cost option. Those buildings will become a drain on our resources if we don't do something about those. So which is why we're bringing phase two to the community to have those discussions to really figure out uh, to try to prevent those schools from having impact on the education of our students. I know the, the, the tagline was your voice matters uh, in phase one and your voice matters even more in phase two. We need your feedback. We need you at these community meetings. We need you when we send out surveys to answer those surveys. Phase one was a great experience to see how much and how involved the community got. And we're expecting and hoping that same involvement and excitement for phase two.